thank you for watching A Day in the Life with Laura. Uh, it's been so good to, I oh, know, no, we're not doing that. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm so tired. Okay. Okay. I got this. So my name is Laura. This is my second year with The Culture Project. I am from Pennsylvania, about an hour outside of Philadelphia. And this year I am going to be a team leader in Cleveland. Today we are going to be talking a lot about community life. So the topics will be conflict resolution and boundaries. So I decided to do a second year because I knew the Lord wasn't quite done with me yet. Um, and I was also very open to it from the beginning. So going into my first year, it wasn't like one and done. Uh, it's a one year commitment with the Culture Project, but I was very much open to doing a second year. I think my motivation behind that was I study early elementary and special education and so some of my student teaching placements I would be working with these really young kids and I knew I could do a lot in the classroom as a teacher but I couldn't fix the problems that they were coming into school with like the brokenness of the families um, and just the problems that would they would face as soon as they would walk out the school doors I could only love them while they were there and so my thought process was like oh, like how can we fix this like how can like we restore the family how can we uh, just help overcome these stumbling blocks and let people know what they're made for. So that was my motivation coming into year one. And then the second year was after encountering these students. Um, you get a variety that you encounter um, and some are more receptive than others, but the ones who came up after the talk who told me like this, no one's told me this before. Like, why is this not what we're hearing? This is like so different than like what my friends are doing or what I've experienced or what's happened to me and they're just looking for an example. And if I can be that person just for, just for one individual, like, this mission is a success. So we just had a session on conflict resolution and there was one portion where we played this game with a partner. So the first part was um, to pick a topic on like any object and you had to debate with your partner which had more value. It's like an interesting exercise because it's more isolated rather than in the moment because there's yeah. not the personal attachment like we're not like on team life going to be debating about the value of a recliner or a pocket like that's just not practical but in a sense you start to recognize okay like how am i even approaching these conversations that are really of no value like am i do i recognize in myself am i being super argumentative am i just always looking to win or am i actually listening oh, yeah. yeah you guys are gonna have so much fun Thank you, Malcolm, you're great too. Oh, wow, yeah. affirmation, we just like toss them. Oh wow, it's a lot warmer than I thought. Yeah, yo, being this pale, that's for sure a guarantee. You need to sunscreen that SPF 50. Otherwise you're a tomato. Maybe, is this too spread out? Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, I know um, Team Toledo is doing by the bonfire, but I feel like there's more options. So if you want to seek that out, we can. What about just in the grass? Okay, let's maybe pick like shade, shade, yeah, yeah, okay, N new plan, new plan, what about by the boxing thing in the downstairs, yeah, because there's, cou there's, cou there's couches there, I'm on it, I'll be honest with you, like I never viewed myself as a leader, I was always like, I'm just a follower, like I'll, just like go along with whoever is taking charge. Like I never saw myself as someone with a personality that would be capable of leading. Um, so it was kind of not a surprise when I felt called to leadership. Um, but I think when you're really passionate about something and when you feel called, like the Lord gives you the graces that you need to, to lead. So I very much came into this second year like desiring that role, which was kind of crazy to me, but it just seemed like a good fit, and I guess people believe that. Ooh! All right. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Team Cleveland. 
It's an honor <laughs> to be working with you this year. Yeah. 2019, 2020, who would have thought? Not me. So I would love if like we could each go around and say one what your Myers Briggs is, and then also just give a little descriptor of that like personality type, so we get a better picture. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow us on social media. We're gonna keep posting stuff like this. It's gonna be legitimate. So uh, no. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's that's how we're gonna end it. <laughs> All right. How tired are you? Yo, it's been a it's been a day. I started off great because I had Duncan and I thought I was gonna thrive the rest of the day, but honestly, afternoons kill me. And then I showed up to dinner this evening. I was like, wow, it's still the same day. You know what you needed? What? Wawa. <gasps> Amen. Amen. Yeah. I mean, not sheets. I'm not sheets. Wawa. And for those who don't have it, I'm sorry. Hopefully coming to you soon. Whew. Amen. Great. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know.